okay so this is now the next video we have converted from raster to polygon now we have to find the exact area uh, i hope you guys have seen the previous videos so you guys can know what i'm i'm doing if you have have not seen the previous videos you guys might find it a little difficult so please watch the previous videos now in this video our task is to find the area of this catchment area in the arc js software how we can find the area of this the step is first you need to convert this from raster to polygon the next step is click on the layers right click properties and now you know we select we in the beginning we went to geographic coordinate system and we converted into the wgs 1984 now we need to convert it into projected coordinate system click on it once you click on it go to the utm in utm find wgs 1984 and now select northern hemisphere in it go to wgs 1984 44 this is for my region you guys can search it for your region for your country that what sort of wgs utm codes and everything is followed for my country pakistan it is wgs 1984 utm zone 44 for uh, northern hemisphere in the wgs 1984 in the utm in the projected coordinate system so then okay apply and okay done once it's done now we can find the area so the next step is layer open attribute table so layers and okay sorry watershed let me remove the background black area because i think it's a little bit confusing um yeah flow direction should be removed as well Mm-hmm. this should be removed and this should be removed okay now it's fine now click on it right click open attribute table open attribute table oh i'm sorry am i yeah open attribute table and in open attribute table you guys can just right click no sorry click on this table options and add field where is add field yeah, add field name it area need select double okay now click on the area right click um calculate geometry yes and then area and select the unit so what should be the unit unit should be anything you are interested in but i am going to go for the square miles and then okay yes and it is 43.17 and what was the real area that was provided by it is 42 so i am quite near to it so it means that we are good to go and you can compare the shapes as well so with this the process of finding the catchment area using um the software arc js is i guess completed and i think there is nothing else left so thank you very much this was all the lecture and all the parts of the videos are available on youtube you guys can just watch the part 1 part 2 part 3 part 4 whatever it is and we will come back with any other lecture any other topic in the next videos thank you very much